got a fish. We got a fish. Nice. We got a nice fish, guys. Morning to me. That was a good fish, whatever it was. Damn, man. Jeez. Oh, we were on a fish. I think it might have been a carp. There we go. Oh, goodness. Oh, God, it's a good fish. Oh, it's a good fish. Oh, my goodness. It's a good fish. It's a good fish. Come here. Come here. Oh, come here. Oh. oh my goodness, oh my goodness, holy crap, we got an awesome fish, look at this fish, all right, guys, look at this fish, look at this chunk of fish, oh my god, oh my god, he's a monster, all right. Oh my god, he's like, he's 3.3 pounds, almost three and a half pounds, you guys. Look at that. He's a beast. All right, I hope you guys have had a better morning than I have. I've been out fishing for, I don't know, since 6 o'clock this morning. Uh, trying to get on some top water bite, trying to get on some big fish for the big bass world championships. That, um, However, he wasn't bigger than my uh, first entry for the Big Bass World Championships. Uh, that one was, I believe, a 3.47 or something. So, um, I started at uh, two other ponds this morning. I was at one place that has two ponds. I've taken you guys there before with the fountain and the bridge. And then I couldn't get on anything. Not even a bite. No top order, no nothing. So... Now I'm down here in the back of the college. Uh, I've had a couple of videos here with you guys. And I'm using one of my favorite crankbaits. That's that bomber on this bomber crankbait. You can see it's all beat to heck. Obviously, I love it. Square bill. It's perfect color, everything craw imitation this time of year. And I got him right over here parallel to the rocks. He was hiding out in there where the big ones like to stay. Oh, okay. Oh my God, you scared the guy. Uh, I'm trying to make noise so you can hear me. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, yeah, they're gonna be replacing that dock. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean. I didn't know. I'm sorry. Not a problem. Thank you so much for letting me know. Yeah, uh, thank you. Have a great day. Okay, guys. That was a security guard here. He's really, really nice guy. He was just letting me know that. Oh, that I can't, uh, the dock that I was just on over there, um, they're repairing it. I kind of felt it shaky between, uh, shaky underneath my feet. So I kind of figured they must be doing something with it. So, but, uh, so they're repairing it so we can't go on the dock. But uh, he was nice enough to let me know. But he scared me. <laughs> he scared me. I didn't hear him come up behind me and I, uh, I didn't know I, you know if I was in trouble or something so 
we could just get out another fish, a bigger one. Would be nice. Fatty! Look at that fish! You guys, look how fat he is. Look at that belly. He's been eating. Oh my gosh, look at him. What a chubby guy. I'm gonna throw him back in there. We gotta throw him over these weeds. I don't like to throw a fish, but I gotta throw him over this so he gets back in the water, right? And there he goes. Oh my God. I'm trying to uh, turn my camera off here, guys, because I'm conserving my chip. I had to use um, an extra chip, and the only extra chip I had on me was a 4 gig. So obviously that's not going to last long, so I'm just trying to conserve it. So I'm shutting it off and then turning it on when I get a fish. This one, he surprised me right at the bank here. And I reeled him in, and then I turned the camera on. But uh, it wasn't much of a fight. It was just, he hit it, bam, I pulled him in because he was right here at the bank. But it was still nice. <laughs> There's one. He came out of nowhere. <laughs> All right. <laughs> got him. We got him. Look at that. Beautiful little bass. A beautiful little crankbait. All right. <laughs> he came right at right off of this bank. Right off. I didn't really even want to turn this on and waste the and waste this but I had to show you look at this this is officially the smallest bass I have ever caught <laughs> it's awesome that is like I mean I think that's the coolest thing though here we go <laughs> same size as the crankbait what's going on guys just finished up here down at the back of the college down here and uh <laughs> I don't know it was it was a crazy day it really was it was a crazy day um we started out at uh one of the ponds glaze brook that has uh two ponds to it i worked both those ponds i came out of here uh, i started around six o'clock in the morning and i wanted to get on some top water bite i mean even that that was a little late uh for me to get out for some top water bite i wanted to get just when it's about 5 45 when uh the sun was starting to come up that's when i wanted to get out there and get on some top water bites but um i ended up getting out a little later than that but hey that that's what happens but um not a bite i could not get on a bite i want to work hard i i want to win this uh big bass world championships i want to get on a big bass i want to get uh in this i want to win this you know and i, I want it bad so i want to another pond so i figured i'd come here to the college first three or four casts that i get i sink into a good one i end up losing it um i actually felt like a carp uh but uh, at least i got my lure back this time and um so i said okay we'll get on another one no big deal my next cast sure enough after that we sunk into that three point uh three zero pounds i think it was almost three and a half pounds i mean can't beat it i asked for getting i asked for uh, a big one today i got a big one um unfortunately it's not as big as i want i need at least four pounds or over but it was a beautiful day the wind is starting to pick up there uh significantly we're getting like 25 mile per hour winds today out of the south so it's going to be pretty crazy and we're supposed to get on some rain later today that's why i wanted another reason i wanted to get out uh early as well but another great day guys nonetheless and i always have a great time bringing you guys along thank you so much for joining me all i was using today guys i had that bomber crankbait and i was just using that uh lose mock speed spool with the mock speed stick i'll leave my setups in the description of this video you guys can always check that out that and that was it i was reeling in slow i was kind of varying up my retrieves giving it a couple little tugs um, but other than that, that's all I was doing guys. Um, and, and then this morning I was trying to get on some top order and I was trying to use the, uh, uh, boy duck at buzz bait that came in uh, the lucky tackle box for the month of May so if you guys enjoyed the video give me that thumbs up if uh, you guys haven't subscribed make sure you subscribe to me and as always leave me a comment because you know I love talking to you guys and getting to know you and I get to know you through the comments so thank you so much for joining me guys and I'll catch you guys next time